Hello and welcome to our channel Viney Tips. Today we are going to discuss about the options to download macOS in DMG format or to make one from the macOS installer that we download from the App Store. Before I begin, let me tell you that I am not providing links to any illegal versions of macOS for the purpose of Hackintosh. But I will surely help you if your requirement is using a Windows PC for fixing your Mac that is not booting up. For those who don't know, it is possible to make a bootable macOS USB from Windows with the help of a corresponding DMG file and some third-party software like TransMac. Nowadays, Apple doesn't provide the DMG versions of macOS. Although they have downloads for older versions up to Sierra, these DMGs can't be used to create a bootable USB in Windows because it's just a PKG installer inside this DMG file when you mount it. You actually need some boot files for the disk to show up in the startup menu. However, if you have any usage cases, you can download macOS Capitan, L Capitan and Sierra DMG images from Apple website. Please check the video description for direct links. We also invite you to check our website for a tutorial on downloading macOS DMG files using an app called MDS. MDS is designed to automate and deploy macOS on multiple Macs through a network disk image and certain scripts. One of its features helps you download macOS from Apple servers as a disk image. Please check the pinned link in the comments to learn how to use MDS. Apart from this, Apple also lets you download macOS updates in DMG format for versions up to Big Sur. These updates are meant to upgrade your existing macOS installation with incremental features and bug fixes, and they are not standalone OS installers. Again, if you want to download macOS updates in DMG format, check the video description for related links. Unfortunately, all the macOS disk images we mentioned until now are not suitable for our case, that is, making a macOS USB in Windows, cause they don't have the files to make the disk bootable. This is the file architecture of a macOS USB disk made on a Mac. You can see the macOS installer and many other files inside the disk. Our idea is to make a macOS DMG with the same file architecture so that when you burn it to a USB in Windows, the resulting drive will be exactly similar to the one shown here. So that means you can create a bootable macOS USB in Windows with the help of this DMG file. We have already done a video on this topic. Uh, if you are watching us from desktop, you can click on this link uh, to see it in action. If I talk about building the DMG file used in our video, the process requires a Mac. But I know many people searching for the macOS DMG file may not have an additional Mac. One thing you can do is, if your friend or colleague has a Mac, you can tell them to see this video and follow the procedure that I am going to explain in a moment. Then he or she can easily make and send you the bootable DMG file to the internet. You can download it to Windows PC and it will go your Mac. If nobody is there to help you, then uh, you can just contact me at admin at vinetips.com and request my personal support. In order to create the bootable macOS DMG, you need to download the full installer for that macOS version from Apple and place the installer in the applications folder. You also need a USB disk of 8 to 16 GB space depending upon the size of the macOS version you want. I have already downloaded macOS Big Sur here. Now the first step is to create a USB disk from the downloaded macOS installer. You can check the Apple website for the terminal command that we can use to make the USB installers for all recent versions of macOS. Since I have downloaded Big Sur, I will choose the corresponding terminal command here and paste it into the terminal app. My USB disk name is Vinytips, so I will change the label uh, that is my volume to whiny tips and press return key. You have to wait until the system erases the disk and build the macOS USB installer with all the necessary files. So once it is done, create a new folder on your desktop and copy the files inside the macOS USB installer to the new folder and give it a name if you want. Remember to enable hidden files and folders option in your Mac to see all these files. Right, what I'm going to do now is to create uh, the DMG file from this folder which has the boot files and macOS installer. To do this, open the disk utility application in your Mac and as shown here, 
from the menu take the option image from a folder then select our newly created folder and choose the image format as hybrid image now the disk utility will start building the dmg file from the folder it will take like 15 to 20 minutes uh, for this process depending upon your system configuration so it got finished now uh, we have the portable mac os big sur dmg saved to our desktop here now if i mount it the files are, you can see the files are exactly similar to the mac os usb installer hence it is well suited for recovering your mac from a windows pc Although we haven't tested this method on M1 Mac, but uh, we are sure about the compatibility in all of the hardware released till 2020. This DMG image may also be compatible with apps like VirtualBox, but again uh, we haven't tested it. So that's all for this video. Please let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments. And don't forget to like the video if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.